In the last tutorial we left off with half a bar stool here. Now I still don't like the height of this piece so I can always click on it, right mouse click, go to open and bring this piece in and I can go back to the extrusion and instead of 8.5 you know we're going to change that back to 8 okay, and then we're going to finish it and then we're going to save it. Now that will automatically update when I go down here to the bottom you can see that's kind of it actually hasn't changed the height of it yet and that's only because we have to go in and find one of these and all we do is put zero in here again and what it does oops we're going to accept it and it just moves it up a bit okay so that, that kind of fixes it there now the other point of getting into the bottom rail here is I'm actually going to make a mid rail so I'm just going to go to file right here the application menu save as and I'm going to call this mid rail because I want the rails at two different heights and click on save and the other thing I can do here is this draft angle if you actually look at it from the end you can see that angle there and I'm going to go shady with edges and we actually don't need that one either for the bottom rails and the mid rail because that was only needed for the top so what we can do is we can take these drafts and figure out if I go on this angle here which draft it was so it was that draft there there's that draft there and then there's that draft there. So we're actually going to take this draft and just delete it. Okay, and save this one. And go back to the uh, let's go back to the main one. And let's right mouse click on this one and open this again because this now is the bottom rail and let's find that draft, which is that one there. And we'll delete that one and now they're both flat and we're going to hit save on this one too. So we've saved this one. Let's go back to the mid rail, save it as well. And when we go back to the bar stool, there we go. So now we've got a bar scroll, the angled one there, that one there, and we also have that rail, and then there's a mid rail that will sit higher up. So I'm going to save this, and then what we're going to do is go back to a new assembly. So application menu, new assembly, and we're going to start by placing that half a bar stool in. And I'm only going to place one, actually no, we'll place another one, but we're just going to move it way out of the way. Okay, so we're going to take this one, I'm just going to move it way over here for right now. Let's go accept. Okay, so, and the other thing is I'm going to bring in a top rail. So bring one top rail in. I'm going to put two of them there and there. Okay, and we're going to leave it at that. So next part now is to join these. Now, the reason the colors are is because it helps me kind of figure out what angles. So you can see that these colored ones are on the inside and that colored is on the inside. So I really want this one here is going to end up right over here. So we're going to go constrain. And this surface here. And obviously, if I just buzz around here a bit more, that one there, and you can see that goes into place. It's in the right side. And move this around a bit. All right. And we can apply. And then we're going to grab this one and then this one. And that's the wrong way around. So we're going to spin it and click apply. And right away, I'm just going to go shading with edges so I can see what's going on. And then the last one, and we can center it after. The last one's going to come here to here and apply. You're going to get this error and Honestly, haven't been able to figure out how to get rid of it, so we're just going to cancel or edit this constraint. Okay, you can notice I can't do anything, so we're actually going to cancel this. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to move this up really close. Okay, and what's kind of cool is because I got the colors, you can actually see right there. And then we're going to go and constrain this surface to this surface and apply. We get the error, but we're going to accept the constraint. Okay, now what happens when you do that over here? is you're going to get this little uh, exclamation mark saying inconsistent. Okay, don't worry about it. We'll deal with that at a later date. Oh, and the other thing is, is I want this centered. So if I go back into my, my flush, instead of flush here, I'm going to put this as 0.375. Okay, and you have to accept it. And you can see it went the wrong way. So I'm going to go negative 3, negative that. Hit enter. It's going to always do this accept or error unless you go to here, right mouse click, and you can go suppress, then I won't give you that error. Okay, so if I hit suppress now, what happens is I can go into that that same one, and actually I can't even change it right now. There you go, no, there we go. So do this, and then we change that one to, I don't know, uh, let's call it one, and just watch what happens. It automatically changes it, right? So I'm just gonna undo. So there's that rail, then what we can do over here, is do this other rail so we're just going to go constrain and I bet you we're going to have the same errors so that surface to that surface oh look it does it there okay and we can hit apply and then this surface to this surface 
and we're going to do this and let's see oh that that's the right one hit apply and the last one's kind of going to be hard now so they're going to take this one and we're going to buzz around and we're going to do this one and then that one oh, I could have hit zero on mine and there so that one for some reason uh, worked all the way through so and again I'm going to go back to my I'm just kind of moving this around a bit go back to my parts here and this is the one that's flush and I want that one to be negative 0.375 there you go okay and just that's it so the last part now you know for this part of the tutorial is scroll out a bit find this part bring it closer bring it in okay and you can see that those are the colors on that side so I want to constrain this one here and that one's going to constrain when I flip it around over to this side okay and we'll spin it this way no that's the wrong way we'll spin it this way okay and is that going to work right no that's not so cancel this out and I want this one here to go to there that's what I want constrain so green here when I spin it around is going to go to this one here okay and we're going to apply it and then we're going to take this surface here and it's going to apply to this surface here and that's going to give me an error. Uh-oh, now let, let's let's kind of take this one out. So we're going to go into this one rail and there's this one mate here. We're just going to delete it. Okay, and let's just get this one messed around here. So no matter what, the top constrain this surface here and this surface here are going to match up. There we go. Okay, and then we're going to flip it the other way around. That's apply it. Good. And then we definitely know that now that this is done, that this surface here is going to go to the surface here. And it's going to give me an error here, isn't it? It doesn't want to do this. Okay, so we're going to take this surface here. Constrain. And we know that it's going to go to this one way over here. And that one's not going to want to go either, is it? Oh, there we go. Okay, so that's actually sitting like that. And we're going to apply it. Now what we can do is go back to that one. So let's just cancel out. Okay, and that's this leg right here. This flush, and this should be 0.375. I'm going to hit enter. There you go. Apply. And the last thing is this guy. It's because I'm out here, I can just move this right now. Okay, oh, we have some things suppressed. So we're just going to take this one here and unsuppress it so it doesn't move and continue. So when I move this, you can see that part over there is now it doesn't move. Accept it. Okay, so this part now, the last thing is to go constrain. It's kind of a long tutorial all of a sudden. That one goes there. And that one's going to go into there. There we go. And hit apply. And just accept it. Okay, and oops, you got the distance there. So we got to go back into there. Let's find out where it is. Cancel. It's this one right here. I gotta make that one zero. All right, so there we go. There's our bar stool. You know, not quite done. We still have some extra rails to put in across there and that, but we'll do that in the next tutorial.